Ever been told that to avoid a heart attack you just need to watch your cholesterol? Well, what if I told you that's only part of the story? Like a small part. A heart attack isn't just a simple plumbing problem. It's a full-blown crime scene with multiple suspects, and today, we're going to expose all of them. So let's get the basics straight. A heart attack or myocardial infarction happens when the blood supply to a part of your heart muscle gets cut off. No blood means no oxygen and heart cells start to die. It's a medical emergency. Now cholesterol is definitely a key player. Think of the bad kind LDL cholesterol as a sneaky intruder. It worms its way into the walls of your arteries, building up over time to form these fatty deposits called plaques. This process is called atherosclerosis. For a long time, we thought these plaques just grew and grew until they clogged the artery like a blocked pipe. But here's the plot twist. Most heart attacks aren't caused by plaques that slowly choke an artery. They're caused by plaques that suddenly rupture. And what makes them so unstable? The answer is inflammation. Your immune system sees these fatty plaques as foreign invaders and sends out its troops, immune cells, to attack them. But this friendly fire actually weakens the protective cap covering the plaque. It's like a ticking time bomb. The cap gets thinner and thinner until, bam, it bursts. When that plaque ruptures, your body's emergency response system goes into overdrive. It thinks there's a wound to heal, so it forms a blood clot right on top of the ruptured plaque. But this clot can grow so big so fast that it completely blocks the artery in a matter of minutes. Blood flow stops, and that's when the heart attack begins. It's not a gradual blockage, it's a sudden catastrophic event. So if inflammation is the trigger, what lights the fuse? This is where our other suspects come in. High blood pressure constantly damages your artery walls, making it easier for cholesterol to get in. Smoking? It's like pouring gasoline on the fire. It directly injures the delicate lining of your arteries. Diabetes makes your cholesterol even stickier and more prone to forming dangerous plaques. And then there's stress. When you're stressed, your body releases hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, which can directly trigger a plaque to rupture. This is also why more heart attacks happen in the morning. Our bodies naturally surge with these exact hormones when we wake up. This changes everything about prevention, right? It's not just about lowering cholesterol. It's about protecting your entire cardiovascular system. How first exercise. It's not just for weight loss. It makes your blood vessels more flexible and resilient. Second, diet. A diet rich in fiber and antioxidants. Think fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Actively fights inflammation. Third, manage your stress. Whether it's through meditation, hobbies, or just taking a walk, lowering those stress hormone surges is crucial. And finally, get good sleep. It's fundamental for keeping your blood pressure and blood sugar in check.